Want to hardcode subtitles into videos like Gary V or other creators, it's incredibly easy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. In this case, we're gonna use Veed's online video editor. So simply head over to your browser and type in Veed.new or click on the first link in the description. And once you're in Veed's editor, you're prompted to upload your video you wanna add hardcoded subtitles to. So in this case, I'm gonna select upload a file, select the video and click on open. After just a short moment, the video is imported. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Tim. And we can start editing. To add hardcoded subtitles, we're gonna use Veed's auto transcription tool. It's incredibly easy. Head over to subtitles in the left menu, then select auto subtitle, select the language you speak in your video. In this case, it's English, and then click on create subtitles. And now you can just sit back, relax, and wait until it's finished and there you have it so as you can see on the left the transcriptions are in here the subtitles are added to the video and everything is synced let's just watch the video Hello everyone my name is tim in this video i'm gonna explain and there you have it so as you can see on the left you can see the transcriptions as i said and some words are actually orange and that means that it's a low confidence word which means that the auto transcription tool is not really sure which word it actually was so you can just kind of hover your mouse over it and mark it as correct if that's actually the word you can easily edit the subtitles by hovering your mouse over the subtitles itself. And if you want to correct something, just click on it and just type whatever you want to type in. And if you hover over the subtitles, you can add a new line if you want to add new subtitles, for instance, or you can delete subtitles by just simply clicking on a trash can. And again, if you hover in between the subtitles, you can also merge the subtitles together if you think that looks cleaner. And honestly, the subtitles and audio are very well synced, but if you want to retime the subtitles, you can use the timeline cursor or head over to the bottom timeline, select one of the subtitles and click and drag on one of the sides to extend or shorten it. You can also click and drag the subtitles from the middle if you want to move them around. And if you want to split the subtitles in two, use the play in the bottom timeline, let it rest somewhere and click on split subtitle. I'm gonna explain to split it in two. So as you can see, there are a lot of things you can do with subtitles, but the best thing is you can customize the design. So simply head over to styles in the subtitles menu and you can easily change the font style. You can actually upload your own font as well. You can change the sizing, color, background color, spacing, and much more. And also within the video canvas, you can click and drag the subtitles to move it around. You can also use the rotating option and further resize it through the side and corner options. And that's it. So now I'm satisfied with my video and I wanna export it with burnt in subtitles. So to make that happen, head over to export in the right top corner, choose your preferred render settings, make sure burnt subtitles is enabled because that's what makes the subtitles hard coded into the video and then click on export video. And once the video is rendered, you can watch it back on the left with hard-coded subtitles. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Tim. And as you can see, the subtitles are added to the video. Now, if you want to share your video, click on the share button below the video. You can copy the link and paste it everywhere. You can directly upload the link to your socials or embed the video onto your website. Or you can also choose to download the video to your device. So click on the download button below the video, click on download MP4, and it should be in your downloads folder. All right, so that's how you add hard-coded subtitles to your video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.